Although the Framer CMS is so powerful to use, but you may all have stuck in how to filter the CMS so effectively. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how effectively you can use the filter in the CMS so that you can create the filters without any hassle. So without making any much delay, let's get into the video. Uh, here we have a list of blocks. It's so very lengthy, right? We need to create the filtering option at the top. So let's see how to do that. Before that, uh, let me show you the CMS. So let me go to the CMS. Here is the block. So these are all the blocks we have created. Let me show you the fields. So this will be the title, date, image, contents. Like these are all the fields that we have created. And then we have created the another CMS that is for the author uh, in order to create the new CMS just click on the add and use the add collection here I have used the fields of name designation image and also the all the social media links so these are all the details I have given for the author I will explain you why I have created this new CMS in the previous method uh, in order to specify the author we will be creating a new uh, plain text with the name of author and inside the each block, uh, we will be typing a new name. Uh, for example, Danny and John, something like that. We will be we will be including the details of the author manually, right? So in order to avoid that, I have created the new CMS collection exclusive for the author. I will explain you how to embed that uh, author CMS to the blog CMS, okay? Uh, so before that, I have just uh, show you the what are all the thing I have used in the CMS. Okay, let me go back. And here, uh, as I have said earlier, we need to create the filters. So in order to do that, let me do the designing. So here, below this view all blog post, I'm just creating a frame which should be under the title, okay? And this will be a tab wrap. And let me give the width to be in fill. Let me take out this color. Here I need to create the button. So for that again, I'm just uh, using another frame. This will be named as tab button. And inside it, so uh, I have already created the component with the name of tab button. Uh, with the active, inactive, phone active and phone inactive variant. Coming to the text, I have already created a variable with the name of a title so that it will be easy for us to change the name based on the filtering option. Okay, so let me go back. Here we have the tab button. So let me copy it for four types. Okay, and this one will be the inactive. The remaining four will be in inactive. So let me make it as inactive. Okay, so that we have created it. Uh, now, we need to specify the categories options. Okay, so instead of giving the category name manually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new collection uh, with the name of category. Okay, uh, let me edit the field. I don't want this one. I need only the title. Okay, and let me add a new item. So, the title would be business report. And the next one is communication, okay. Uh, the third one is reporting and signs. So that we have created the four categories. So if you want, you can add some of the things like uh, color for this category or anything like that. So that's up to you. As of now, I'm just creating only the title with the new collection in the name of category. Okay, so that we have created it. Now what I'm going to do is you can either give the category name directly here. But what I think is, is I can use the CMS and I'm going to extract the category names and display it here in the filtering option itself. So for that what I'm going to do is let me go to the insert in the collection. Here uh, we have used the uh, CMS collection of category. So let me bring it at the top of this uh, tab. Okay. And now let me delete this title and let me bring this component under this category. Let me go to this category and let me limit to one. Okay. And then let me go to the filters. Here I'm going to choose the option of category and let me select the option of equals. And here you can find the option. So let me select it as business report okay the same have to be followed here so again i'm going to delete this okay i have deleted this 
and and that business report that particular category name has been displayed here and also we need to do one thing we need to select this component here we have uh, manually typed a category right so i need to go to this title and set the variable to the title okay that's it now uh, let me duplicate it for three times okay and make it as inactive 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 right and then let me go to the second categories let me go here in the filters and here let me choose up with communication and this one let me choose up with reporting and this one let me choose up with sign see after using the category collection okay then uh, we brought everything here now we need to make the interaction so if i click on here it should filter it based on the communication and it should filter it based on the reporting and should filter it based on the signs right but we didn't do one thing what's that in the blog we didn't make the connection with the categories right so in order to do that i'm going to the edit fail of this blog now let me use the reference fail what reference we need to use we need to use the category okay so we have used the category here we need to uh, specify the categories on each let me go to the first one here you can see what type of categories we need to specify so let me select this one let me go the second one let me select this and for this let me choose this so as like that you need to uh, select the categories for each of the blocks so that we have set the categories names here okay now now we have all set the categories to the blocks now we need to create the interaction so for that let me create the new component so this has been created now let me make it as desktop with the name of business report okay here we need four variants in the desktop itself so this one will be for the business report and the second variant will be for the communication and third is for the reporting and fourth one is for the signs okay uh, so let me create the another variant let me copy this this one will be for communication so as like this just create the two more variants so that i have created the four variants okay now we need to filtered all these variants based on the category so for that let me select this particular block okay and let me go to this filter and here you can see the filter so let me choose up with the category here set as equals here you can find the categories so let me select the business report the same follow-ups for the second one so let me go to the category and this one will be the communication the third one this one will be the reporting fourth one this one will be the sites so that we have filtered the each of the category inside the variant okay now we need to set up the interaction before that let's set up the active and inactive state so this one is an active for the business report and coming to the communication this communication should be inactive right so let me go here let me set as active and let make this first one to be in inactive okay the same follow-ups the third one will be inactive the first one will be in inactive the last one will be inactive the first one will be in inactive so that we have set the active and inactive state for each of the tab now it's time to make the connection that is if i click on it it should go to the this variant if i click on this it should go to the third variant the same thing the same follow-ups for the fourth so if you set the all the interaction in the primary variant itself it will automatically applicable to all other variants so let me select on this this one this particular tab let me go to the interaction the new transition should be in desktop business report or else you can use this option just click and drag and for this click and drag and then change it to reporting 
and for this click and drag and change it to sides okay so that we have made the connection let me check on here yeah it's going here 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 so that's why you have to make the connection in the primary itself it will automatically applicable to all other weights okay now let's check it's working perfectly fine now uh, we have created the desktop version the tablet version is looking okay but coming to the phone it doesn't look great right uh, so for that what i'm going to do is let me create the another variant this is for the mobile okay so let me use this title let me make it as mobile okay and now let me choose up with this one the second communication and let me create the new variant now uh, this will be the mobile communication so as like that create the remaining two variants now we have created the four more variants for the mobile but we have given the width which is not suitable for the mobile so let me change the width to be in 390 the same follows for all the three so let me make it as 390 okay now coming to first uh, let's concentrate on this one uh, that is the blog and let me go to the grid in the columns let me choose up with one the same here choose up with one make it as one and one now uh, let me go to the tab this is the tab wrap right so let me use the wrap wrapping option and let's make it a fit content the same here make it as fit and give the wrap fit give the wrap fit and wrap you can either use the wrapping option or you can use the grid something like this so i think the grid uh, makes sense so again let me change it to the grid okay done here we have the perfect structure but only the thing is the interaction is very so if we click on it it will goes to the desktop version so we need to change that one so for that let me go to the interaction uh, change it to mobile business report and for this communication and for this mobile reporting and for this uh, mobile science the most important thing is if you did the changes to the mobile it won't apply to the all three mobile variants we need to do it manually so again let me go to here and change it to mobile business report and uh, mobile communication and mobile reporting and mobile sign the same thing should be followed for remaining two variants so that i have created the interaction in the mobile also so it will be working perfectly so let me go to this here uh, let me choose up with this component and coming to this variant let me change it to mobile business report okay let me check if it is working so i'm just clicking on here perfect perfect so everything is working perfectly fine but if i click on it it's going to the blog detail page but only the thing is we can't able to view the author image name and designation and also and also links for this facebook and linkedin so for the inside the blog collection list i'm going to the edit field here i need to create the reference uh, field so inside the reference let me use the author field okay that so inside the author collection we have created the set of author details so this is the first one second one third one fourth fifth and sixth uh, here we have a name a designation image and all the necessary links okay so now let me go to this blog and here coming to this uh, item here you can see the author fields if i select on it all the names which you have found inside this author collection can be found here so from this uh, i need to select the author name for each of the items so let me do that so that i have given the author names for every blogs 
let me go back and inside this blog page we have this image right so I'm just clicking on this image let me go to the fill and if I click on it you can see the set variables and here I'm going to the author here you can see the image so let me select on it so the image is extracted from the author collection and displaying it inside the blog so let me go to the name uh, for the content let me go to the author I'm going to select the name and for the designation the content set variable author designation okay so everything has been extracted from the author collection so coming to the link uh, let me go to the link set variable author this is Facebook link this one so let me go to here author LinkedIn link okay so that we have set the details let me go to the other blocks so everything has been set perfectly done now I'm going to the CMS inside the author here we haven't mentioned the Facebook link right but here it's showing up so for that we need to set the visibility so how to do that for that let me select this uh, icon by selecting this let me go to the visibility if if you click on it go to the set variable and author and go to the Facebook link only if the Facebook link is set it will display or else it won't see uh, the Facebook link is not set inside its collection so that's why it's not visible let me go to the next link uh, let me go to the visible set variable author LinkedIn is set okay so let me check on the other yeah it's working perfectly fine here we have another condition here you can see read other blocks so all the blocks that should be displayed here uh, should be related to this particular author that is uh, the blocks which is created by this author uh, should be displayed here how to do that again we need to select this block and we go to the filters here you can see the filters let me select this and here let me go to the author and the author equals let me set the value so let me select this value set variable author so only the related post will be displayed here and also we doesn't want this block also to be displayed here see uh, you can see our set of services is tailored for your needs again it's displaying so we need to avoid that so for that let me select it again again I'm selecting this filter let me select this title and the condition is doesn't equal what the value this particular block right so I'm just selecting this value set variable title so that particular title will not be displayed okay let me check the other great here we have our team of expert as always yeah it's not displaying the same thing follows for other blocks this is how you need to uh, work on with the filters uh, by using the reference field I hope you have really enjoyed this video and gained some of the knowledge. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like this and share it with your fellow designer. If you want more videos on framework tips and web design tips, make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.